we're in Tatahi Bay today because we're going to demolish the uh, second biggest structure in New Zealand. It will be quite sad to see it come down. It'll be, it'll certainly be missed from this whole area. Probably my smallest blast I've ever done, even though it's the biggest structure. Hopefully not my last though. Within the company we have six different explosive guys. Most of them are based down in Christchurch and um, we do work all over the country. We're going to try and hit X marks the spot. It's going to take about um, seven seconds or so to actually drop and it, it hit the ground. Um, but in that time, of course, the wind could, uh, could move the mast around a little bit. Um, within, within range of the top of the mast. Of course, there is always a, a small chance that um, with um, explosives that there's a misfire. In this particular case, it's one in a million, which is actually too high a risk to take. So we doubled the system, so the chance of there being a misfire is now one in a million million. If one guy remained in place, um, we're assuming it would crumple. So maybe the top would, um, 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 the middle part would go and the top would come down and it could fall the other way. It's got a nice clear line there, hasn't it? Yeah. Of course, even though we've done everything we can to mitigate all the risks. Nice. When you count down from 10 and you push the button, there's always going to be that um, moment when it's all going to happen. I might as well just do it, eh? Everybody ready? No one's, no one's moving around. Okay, here comes a 10 second warning. Everybody get their cameras rolling. Uh, you can call, call a stop if you need to, but here we go from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah! Geronimo! <laughs> oh yeah, it's been on my mind for six months every, every day. It went pretty much textbook. Every, everything about it, um, all the planning, all paid off. It did exactly what we thought it would do. 